Good afternoon, Ninda. Welcome back, all of you, for uh, this uh, last day of uh, Mission 10X uh, part. What we did uh, in the last couple of days is to formulate the objectives and also look at some way of having the interactions, right? right? So just to summarize what we did, recap what we did the uh, last couple of days. So we started by writing the session objectives. So what we said is uh, we ask the questions, which is the most important question that becomes the objective for our uh, session. Then looked into the skills and the competencies we were addressing, looking at the questions, what are the skills and the competencies we expect the participant to come out at the end of the session. So after that, we looked at the delivery methodologies, okay, this is what I am going to look into, this is what we are expected the participant to come up with, what is the kind of the delivery mode and what kind of interactive or the activities that can be had. These are the things we saw in the last class. So let us continue from that. So what we have the pieces of jigsaw puzzle, let us try to put the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together to get the final picture of what we expect. <coughs> okay. We mentioned about the interactive teaching or the activity based learning. The reason is we mentioned that the moment we have the interactiveness, so we have a better retention rate. So let me start with a small quiz question. According to you, how much would be the percentage of retention rate if we have a simple lecture class? Can we have about 30 seconds to get the responses? 10 percent, 10 percent, the Peria University says about 80 percent, wow, that is the maximum I am getting. 60 to 80 from VNIT Nagpur, Nirma Ahmedabad says about 70, MGM Engineering and uh, Government Engineering College Trishur uh, tells about 10 uh, percent. Okay. Yeah, we have 5 more seconds so that we can have 2 more, okay, 40 percent from uh, Amrutpuri, AC Amrutpuri, okay, okay, fine, let us uh, uh, close it at that point. Well, uh, as per the some of the studies concerned, these are the figures. Uh, this is the 100 percent. So speaker wanted to sell about 100 percent. I as a speaker, I want to tell everything what I wanted to tell, what was, what is needed. Out of that, about 80 percent was said, okay. yeah, about 80 percent was said because of various reason, I might have forget, I might forget, there may be some queries, the answer the queries, I may miss out some of the things, time was a constraint, the audience could not get whatever I wanted to tell, so about 80 percent was said and out of that 60 percent was heard because uh, the time span of attention is lesser than that and also probably when we were talking the student got some SMS calls, so the student looked at the SMS and missed out some of the points over there. So approximately 60 percent was heard and out of that 40 percent is remember after about 3 hours after session and about 15 percent was remembered after 3 days and after 3 months when the examination came up about to 0 to 5 percent was remembered after 3 months. Probably this may be one of the reasons why we see the student doing the night out before the examination so that the retention rate is higher, so they can uh, write better answers and get through the things. So why it is uh, so low, 5 percent was the retention rate after 3 months? One of the reasons is the student was not involved. So when we are simply uh, lecturing, there is no activity from the student side, so because of that the retention rate is comparatively lesser. The question is, is it possible to involve the student so that the retention rate can be increased? So before that, will the retention rate be better if we have interactive session? Let us look at the next uh, session. Okay. From the National Training Laboratories Bethel Main, the average retention ratio, uh, ratio is uh, given like this. Note that when we have the passive method, when the student is not involved, the approximate retention rate is quite less, about 30 percent. The moment we get the participatory 
teaching methods once the student is involved in our sessions the retention rate increases. So, from 50 percent from the group discussion to 75 percent for the lab classes and lastly to teach others maybe seminars and other things the retention rate is higher. So, what we are going to look into is is it possible to have this more in our class can we have more of participatory teaching classes or can we have more of interaction in the class can we facilitate so instead of teaching can we make it as a learning process ok that is the question we are trying to answer let us look at the possibility of doing that. Well the, this is a fact the challenge in the academic is we need to complete the syllabus by meeting the academic deadline. While we do that what would be the teachers role apart from uh, teaching in the class we need to act as a catalyst to enhance the students critical and creative thinking skills. I personally suggest that encourage the student to ask the questions which will help them to uh, think critically and creatively and come up with some new uh, solutions and suggestions. So, while doing that when the students start asking questions we ask the questions we involve the student we have the we encourage interactive teaching in the class right. <coughs> we encourage the interactive teaching operations in the class. One of the ways to perform this we look at is to have a well planned session. A good planned work is half success already half uh, done. A well planned work is half the success is already guaranteed. So, can we plan our delivery methodology in a appropriate way? So, mission 10x suggests a set of guidelines or the structure for our session that is we got as a session plan. So, before we look at the session plan let us look at what we have. Since good number of people have these plans in place can we look at the constituents of our lesson plan or lecture plan ok. So, what are the columns? or what are the constituents of our lesson plan or lecture plan or classroom plan whatever the name we want to give it. So, what are the constituents of our lecture plans we have. So, can we have about a minutes time to type in your responses here please. Well, each college may have the called by different names lecture plan, okay, uh, classroom plan or the unit plan how we proceed and so on. Typically, we may have the time, we may have the topic, what is covered. Beyond that, what else do we have in our plan? So, I have seen few people uh, say they have the session plan in place, ok. Topics to be covered, the, rate, the duration, how much time that is from uh, Periyar, VN18 Nagpur has a unit wise, each unit what they are going to cover, Nirma has says topic, lecture uh, hours, serial number, duration and objectives, government college Trishur says objectives date topic cover duration from the different places ok. Hours period topic actual time was uh, covered I had planned for uh, 1 hour probably I took 1 and half hour. So, somebody mentioned ok. COE people mentioned about the actual time how much uh, it was uh, selected good. Some more please <coughs> ok. Uh, objectives date time session plan objectives ok. Important terms uh, Government College Trishur mentions about the important terms, the key takeaways, keywords, okay. topics covered, okay. subtopics covered, lecture methodology. We will have two more, okay. topics covered, subtopic covers, and hours. Great, we have fantastic interaction, people are quite energetic to give the answers. Okay. Real time examples, what is to be covered? So, that is from uh, Sinagada and Pune. Uh, what we saw yesterday and day before yesterday along with the objectives is we also saw at what are the skills and the competencies. Are we looking at the knowledge? Are we looking at the understanding? Are we looking at the application or synthesis evaluation kind of things? And also we mentioned about what are the design or delivery methodology to be adopted. So, 
some of the things what you had mentioned is already mentioned over here, the time, subtopic, date, what is the kind of uh, interactiveness we had, tools and the uh, methodologies used as uh, mentioned by some of the people, skills and the uh, developed as people had mentioned about the objectives and the contents of the objectives, maybe others. So, what the mission 10x suggests is, okay, mission suggests, session calls it as a session plan. The session plan is expected to help complete the syllabus content in an effective manner and within the stipulated time and more than that, it is expected to enable the acquisition of specific skills and the competencies for the learner. So, what the learner is expected to do, do? Should the learner be expected to understand that concept? Should the learner be expected to uh, apply the concepts and some other place or should the learners be able to come up with a new thing sim, uh, simulated, okay. Uh, so, the uh, Amrita, uh, Amaravati mentions about uh, some of the tools adopted and uh, adaptive and dynamic tools for the course content, okay, good. Some simulation tools can be used and can be shown, demonstrated, okay. We were looking at uh, this part, uh, acquisition of uh, specific skills and the competencies, we were looking at understanding or comprehend level and what are the multiple intelligences level? So, are we looking at the linguistic intelligences, intrapersonal, interpersonal inter intelligences or anything else? Okay. Apart from that, it also expected to help internalize the skills and the techniques to promote interactive teaching in the class. That is what we mean to say is, suppose I want to have this particular skills and the competencies to be developed. Okay. Like for example, I want uh, the knowledge or understanding or comprehend what kind of tool, what kind of delivery methodology or the interactiveness I need to use so that I can enhance those specific skills to the participant. The mission 10x suggests to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns for the session plan. Of course, we have the session in uh, time. <coughs> Our uh, course content, the time in minutes and what is the content to be delivered. This is as per our objectives, at the end of the session, the person is expected to 1, 2, 3, 4. So, those 1, 2, 3, 4 will come as a subtopic 1, subtopic 2, subtopic 3 and so on. Okay. Apart from that, along with our objectives, at the end of the student, at the end of this session, student should be able to understand the concept apply the concept for some specific things, those things will come as a learning objective over here, okay. Those things will come as a learning objective, one from the bloom and one from the gardener, okay. So, are we looking at the knowledge or comprehension, application, analysis, the bloom's level, at the gardener, uh, sorry, uh, uh, gardener's level, logical, methodological, mathematical, interpersonal, intrapersonal, visual, what kind of the uh, multiple intelligences we are going to. And also yesterday we talked about or we looked at what are the kind of the learning methodology that can be used. Okay. Dr. Joshi had mentioned it, you uh, listed out some of the things. Okay, we will come back to that uh, uh, about your query. What are the kind of the activities to be used? Learning aid and the methodology, those come in the learning aid and the methodology. So, these are the sum of the learning aids and the methodologies they are suggested. Well, I have the information about what to be covered, okay, what to be covered and how it is to be covered, what are the skills and the competences we are going to develop. The remaining things is what the faculty should do okay, and what the student should do. So, should the faculty explain, should the faculty facilitate, should the faculty conduct, should the faculty provoke active thinking and so on. If the faculty is doing this, what should the student do? Should the student listen? Should the uh, uh, student present the concept? The the, should the student uh, debate what to be done? Should the student solve the problem? So, these are the components that go into the typical student activity. Once these are in place, now we know what is to be covered. So, first 15 minutes I want to give the introduction, I have using this as a methodology, 
and I will do this operation, I will do the quiz, I will conduct the quiz, the student will answer and with that I expect the student to uh, develop their intrapersonal skills and their competencies. Let us look at that, what to be did. We had mentioned about this session objective we had done. So at the end of this session, the learner will be able to, example we have taken, define the structure, identify the need for using a structure. Uh, there is a question, can we assume tutorial part, uh, can we assume tutorial is a part of the methodology? Yes, we can uh, have it as a tutorial as a part of the methodology. We had not listed all the things. Some of the things are listed. You are free to add few more extra things. Thanks for uh, uh, pointing out that extra things. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Then we looked at uh, list the advantages of uh, using the structures and propose application where the structure can be used. So whatever we had mentioned over here, okay, the define, identify, they become the part of the content, and also. The define the structure is supposed to be the knowledge, a small thing. This should have come to the next uh, row over here. Okay. So define the structure, we are uh, looking at the knowledge level. So similarly, when we talk about the application over here, we are uh, addressing the application level. So we have mentioned about the bloom only. So similarly, we can add the gardener operation over here. Now what are the other things to be uh, included in the session plan? Okay. So these are our methodology, learning aid and the methodology. So recap of the previous topic, we can con uh, uh, conduct a quiz. Again, this knowledge should have come the, to the next uh, row over here. Structural definition, we use the board presentation, chalk and talk probably, it is mentioned. The need for the use of the structure, we have some activity. You are free to select the activity, we have not mentioned the activity. Select some activity over here. So similarly for the application, we can have some activity. So we have listed the uh, tools, both the activity as well as the teacher and the learner steps. So these are the things, keywords, the learning aid and the methodology, some of them have been mentioned over here. The tutorial I think is uh, missing over here, you are free to add, note that we have put the dot dot over here indicating that something which is missing over here, you are free to add it. So similarly, the faculty approach may be one of these things. The student approach can be one of these things. Okay. So your task now is to fill up the template. <coughs> okay. So look at the assignment 8, page 79. <coughs> we have the com uh, complete uh, template available and also whatever we mentioned over here, the key typical keywords are also available I think in page 76. So your task is to fill up those uh, things. So make a group of three complete the session plan and discuss with your uh, uh, colleagues, your uh, friends and submit it as a assignment number 8. Okay. That would be our things. Note that preparing the session plan is quite uh, simple now because almost all the parts of the all, the, all the parts which go into the session plan you are already done. We did the objectives, so that goes to the content as well as the last column, the skills and the competencies. We looked at uh, the interactiveness, the teaching methodology yesterday that goes to the third column. Once these are in place, what we are supposed to do, what the student is supposed to do, fit in directly. So you are generating a session plan that should be quite simple. So take that as a team activity, assignment number 8, page uh, 79 of our uh, Mission 10 uh, learning approach, except couple of uh, places, all the other places has it. Please uh, take a look at it, generate it and submit it through the model. Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure meeting you all. Hope to meet you all in person in the very near uh, future.